Let's translate Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Batach el Adonai bechal levech vael binathcha al tishain bechal derachecha aehu vhu yasher orchotheka. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and to your understanding. Don't lean. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will straighten your paths. If you want to show your support and sport some cool merch, pick up this Greek Jesus is Lord hat from the merch store today. We have a tach, and then we have L, so trust in the Lord. Technically, this is a preposition and I'm going to make it come underneath batach and then we have another one so trust in the Lord with all the heart of you your heart and the main verb is all the way at the back so I'm going to put it right there and it's negative I'll put it right here for now and lean not on going underneath the main verb your understanding so the first verse is trust in the lord uh, with all your heart and lean not on your understanding next verse starts out with an, a prepositional phrase with all your ways then the main verb acknowledge him I'm going to put who over here just to show that you acknowledge with all your heart or with all your ways, you acknowledge him and he, here's our subject, then the verb, making the subject emphatic here because the verb has this subject built in and this is our accusative direct object and he will straighten your paths. So technically, Proverbs here is is poetic. And by diagramming this way, it does remove some of that poetic flavor in the translation. So if you want to preserve that poetic flavor, you need to probably keep the word order how it's presented in Hebrew when you translate it into English. I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to smooth it all out uh, in English because I want to understand the sense, the meaning. That's my priority as opposed to the poetic flavor. So to translate, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding Acknowledge him in all your ways, and he will smooth your paths. Do you find this diagramming process helpful? Let me know in the comments. If you don't find it helpful, let me know what you do find helpful. All right, so bata, batach, this is the cal imperative, masculine singular, batach, so cal. Normally, batach is along the lines of confidence, liability. So here in Cal, it means to feel secure, to trust. And you can see it comes with ba, the preposition ba. So we do have that here. We have batach and then l and then ba. So the feeling of security is in the heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart in other words trust the lord with your heart you are secure in the lord you can have confidence in the lord so because of the use of batach that's why we have the preposition ba but why do we have l l normally means something along the lines of towards but there's no movement here it's not to go it's not to come it's not to throw of direction towards something, 
up to, against, in addition to, in consideration of, probably is simply just in your trust is in the Lord and you're trusting him with your heart. Here you have Yahweh. Again, we don't pronounce it Yahweh. When we read the Hebrew scripture, we pronounce it Adonai, pronounced as Adonai. And then Chal means all, the whole, everyone, everybody. So all, the whole, that makes sense here. Lev, this is heart. So Lev could be the organ, the actual physical anatomical heart, but it can also be the seat of vital force, the seat of illness. Life can mean one's inner self, seat of feeling, seat of emotions. You can see Genesis 6, 6, take to heart. This is your inner self. It could be your inclination, your disposition. It could be determination, courage. It could be your will, intention. It could be your attention, your consideration, your reason. It could be your conscience. It could be your metaphorical inside, or it could be God's heart. So which one is it here? It's hard to say. I'd probably go with your inner self, your seat of feelings and emotions. Why? Because we're starting with trust. What's a modern day phrase that we use? Don't play with my emotions. So you can trust the Lord with your heart, with your emotions, with your feelings. And to or in your understanding, bina, understanding. This is of human understanding, understanding words, understanding people, understanding. So in your understanding, do not all, this is the negation, do not lean, sha'an. So this is nifil, second person, masculine, singular. Now, Accordin says this is Jussive, but Jussive is third person. And it's also parallel with Batach. So if Batach is clearly imperative, this one is probably going to be imperative. Now, if it were imperative, Sha'an would not read Tish, Tisha'en. It's in the Nifil stem, the imperfect second masculine singular and the Jussive are the same. It just depends on context. And when we look at the location of Sha'an in the sentence, it can't be Jussive. So we're going to translate this as imperfect second masculine singular, but it is really parallel to Batach. And this is common for imperfects, where it will follow and steal from the previous uh, verb in parallel. So we trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your understanding. So lean is to depend, to support oneself on. Do not support yourself on your understanding. This is the opposite of what it means to trust in the Lord with all your heart. If you're leaning on your understanding, you are not trusting in the Lord. Bechal, in all your derek, in all your ways, derek, means way, road. It refers to a stretch of land, trodden solid, and therefore used as a road. So it's not the path less traveled. No, this is the path so traveled that the ground has become hard and solid. In all your ways, in all your travels, in all your journeys, in your business. Notice it's enterprise or business. Way could be manner, custom, behavior, behavior, action, activity. But it can also be the conduct required by God. So in all your ways, the conduct that God expects of you, acknowledge him. So yada means to know. This is Cal imperative, masculine singular. So notice, hear of, learn, know, take care of, know. It's definitely not copulate. This is not the appropriate sense. Take care of someone, conclude, understand something, to know, experience, to know, have understanding. What's interesting is in this instance, Halo does not tell us 
an appropriate gloss. Let's switch over to BDB. So in BDB, it's to know, to learn, to know, and you'll see A, B, perceive, C, perceive, D, discriminate, distinguish, E, know by experience, F, recognize, admit, acknowledge, confess. So this is under the idea of knowing it is its own gloss. So acknowledge, acknowledge the Lord, acknowledge him. And when you do that, he will straighten Yashar. This is PL imperfect, third masculine singular. And here it is, Proverbs 3, 6, PL, smooth. You smooth out the way, and he will smoothen your ways. Now, this is not Derek. This has to do with expedition, military expedition. However, there's a strong connection between way and ground, even dam as a barrier. And it overlaps with Derek in that way can also be behavior and way as preferred by Yahweh. So in a metaphor, translate it as path. So in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will smooth your paths. Yashar, smooth to channel water, go straight on, observe carefully precepts. So to translate, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your understanding knowledge him in all your ways and he will smooth out your paths if you liked this video hit the like button but you can also subscribe and check out this video here to learn how to translate acts 17 verses 30 and 31 see you next time